Hello guys, welcome back to How to Hack. Today we are going to continue with our API pen testing tutorial. Today's vulnerability is about BOLA. BOLA means Broken Object Level Authorization. BOLA is a severe vulnerability. BOLA happens when an application is not verifying a user's request. Suppose a user requests for a resource, an application failed to authenticate whether this user have a privilege to access this resource. For example, we can see here, these are some of the get and post requests. Here, after resource, we can see a number 1. And we can see here, user id equal 15. So bottom, we can see again the same request with a small difference that is the number. So the second one has resource slash 3 as a request. At first it was 1. Suppose a user changes the resource to 1, 2, 3 like that. And they are able to access other users resource. This come into BOLA vulnerability. As a simple example, imagine in your school you have a locker. There is a website where which you can see what is inside each locker. Suppose a student log into his profile, he visit the locker. We can see the URL is user slash locker slash one. One is the locker ID there. And you can see here, suppose your friend log into his profile. Only difference they can see there, user slash locker slash the second locker number that is two. Suppose your friend change number two to one. Now he will be able to see what's the locker content in your locker. So now we will continue exploiting the vulnerability of crappy application. If you are new to this video, we can check the previous content of installation of crappy application in your Kali Linux machine. We can see here, to perform this attack, we need two user account. First of all, I am copying the details of the first user, that is how to hack at gmail.com. And also I am copying the response which I obtained after a successful login that includes my token and also the other response paste it into a notepad where we can access later so now you can see here i am going to log into an another user account so my objective is to find the token of the second user once i successfully log in i will get the response from the server side which include the token of the second user we can see here we obtained the second user's token also so to avoid the conflict of the previous saved content, I am going to create a new workspace and I am naming it as testing. Now we are going to exploit BOLA in two methods. First of all, I am going to use by the web suit. Then after we will go for the postman. In the dashboard, we can see a button content mechanic. Just click on it. This understand one thing. This is the first user. We have to fill up the form with a proper mechanic and the program description. Like you can see here, this response has been captured by the bug suit. We can see the details we have entered here. And now we are going to forward it. We can see the response is coming back. And this response containing a URL. And this is about the report ID. The interesting thing is, our report ID has been displayed there, that is 41. I am sending it to the repeater. So in the repeater, we are going to make some necessary changes. And first, we can see the response was a post request, but we will change it to a get request because we can fetch more people's information from the server. And we can see here, while forwarding the response of 42, while forwarding the ID 42, we will get the response of our cell. So now we can try brute forcing which we have learned in the previous session. 
I am forwarding this response to the intruder. So I am adding the ID here. After I am going to select the payload as numeric and I am targeting up to the first 50 numbers. Now start attack. We can see there, there are some 200 response, which is success. I select the first one, it is leading to a report. And it's a report about a username called Adam. And his mobile number is also available. And his problem details can be available to us. This is a clear example of Bola vulnerability. Now we can try this by Postman. Just copy the entire get request and, and now paste into our Postman. Now we can see here, I'm just changing the ID of the user to 2, 1 like that. So we were able to see the same information which we have obtained in our web suit. So I hope you understand about Bola vulnerability. So in the next video we will discuss about another issue of crappy application which can be exploited by Bola vulnerability. So for more cybersecurity videos you can subscribe my channel.